No, there's no if. It's a yes. That was that was what I was told tonight. And I said, it's not fair. I want my chance. Dana and Sean both said, yes, Jessica, you can have your next fight at 125. I mean, guys, I woke up at 137 today, okay? And I smashed. You know, this week, I, I came in at 39 with my clothes on. I could have easily made 25. You know, maybe this is a chance for me to do something bigger. You know, I, I have to I have to have that kind of attitude. I don't want to have anxiety. I don't want to take what happened this week back to my camp. I want to go home, help my teammates get ready for their fight, my some of my other teammates, and get back on the horse and hopefully fight in New York uh, in November since it's so close to home, you know? I think in the morning they she had woke up, you know, with a stomach ache and, you know, had some not feeling quite right, but... I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I heard when you get food poisoning, it usually happens within an hour of that you usually get sick. Um, but when you, I mean, we've all been there. Listen, I've had some hard weight cuts at 125 and woke up the next morning and felt like crap because I gorded myself, you know, the night before. So, yet again, this is just my speculation. I mean, I feel like if I knew that I was going to be sick that morning, I think I would have called it then, you know, instead of trying to push it. I'll probably go home, hang out with my dog. I'll... I'll probably shed a couple of tears out of emotion of just the whole week for myself because, you know, this is, I'm doing this for my future and my future family, my future life. So I, I think that right now I'm still kind of just here, you know, like there's, there's too much, you know, I don't, I don't know how to really absorb it all. I just know that the fight is not happening. Um, I was given some kind of money, you know, in that way. Um, I didn't lose, but I didn't win. So it's, I feel like once I get home and I settle down for a minute and I can kind of grasp a concept, take the, I'm not taking a week off because I'm using momentum. Again, like I said, I, I don't want to get my weight over 135 so that 25 is going to be, you know, a good cut for me to get down there because even when I did fight 125 before that last five pounds was still, a, you know, an SOB. So um, I want to make sure I'm within reach so that when I do come back again and I am here at fight week that it is just as easy breezy because Again, you guys, I like feeling like a winner. I like getting my hand raised. I miss the way that feels. I, I crave that, and I, I literally crave the way it feels to be a winner. And unfortunately, you know, you guys as media sources, you guys make us, you make us identify ourselves by win or losing. You know, because you only promote us if we win. You don't promote us if we lose. You don't have good headlines. So for me, it's like. For a while there, I identified myself as a loser. In all reality, like, I made it to the UFC. Some people will never even make it here. Some people will never have the guts to step in a cage. And the past couple fights, I started identifying myself as a loser. And it took me until probably back in December after grappling with Misha and having such an you know, amazing conversation at night with her and her coach that I... They go, Jess, like, what are you holding back anymore? What is your problem? You're such an amazing fighter. We've we followed you for years. Like, what are you holding back? And I feel like I, um, I've learned to embrace that again. And, you know, when I get home, I'll reassess that and reassess what, what next step is, you know, an option for me.